This video explains how to add an empty row to a data frame in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example, and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see that we have created a data frame that contains four rows and the three columns x1, x2, and x3. Now let's assume that we want to add an empty row that contains only an A values at the bottom of this data frame. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines seven to nine. So as a first step in line seven of the code, I'm duplicating our data frame because I also want to keep an original version of our data frame. So after running this line of code, a new data set called data new is appearing at the top right. And at this point, this data frame contains exactly the same values as our input data frame. And then in the next step in line eight of the code, I'm using square brackets to create a new row in our data frame. And I'm adding this new row at the index position number of rows in our input data frame plus one. So in other words, at the bottom of our existing data frame. And then I'm using the assignment operator to assign to this row the value NA. So after running line eight of the code, our data frame is updated and we can see that by printing our new data frame to the RStudio console. So after running line nine of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that our new data frame contains the same values as our input data frame. However, in addition to that, we have added an empty row that contains only NA values. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.